Hello everyone, McGrancer Kids here. This time giving you a quick rundown of a brand new card game coming out in about a month or so from now. The official Hollow Live card game. For those of you who don't know, Hollow Live is a virtual YouTuber branch of Cover Corporation who do songs, concerts, streaming, and even gaming now. If you're still confused by that, the even simpler way to put it is they're cute anime girls. I thought that since most of the information available right now was in Japanese or difficult to stumble across, it would help to give a quick rundown of the basic rules of the game to help understand what it's all about. I'll link the original sources for all the information in the description and in a pinned comment below. If you're familiar with the Pokemon trading card game rules, the rules of the official Hall Life card game will actually feel very similar but with a few interesting twists to it. With that said, let's get started with the breakdown. The in-game objective of the Hololev card game is to perform on stage to defeat your rival and win the X-Streamer Cup. You could do so by either depleting the opposing Oshi's Hollow Life to zero by defeating the indicated number of Hollow Mems, reduce the number of their Hollow Mems in play to zero, or by your opponent decking out. Defeating Hollow Mems is a lot like earning prizes for defeating your opponent's Pokemon in the Pokemon card game, except that you get one each time you lose life instead of the opponent. And if you run out, then you lose. There are four types of cards in the Hollow Life card game in total. The Oshi card, the Hollow Mem card, the Cheer card, and the Support card. The Oshi card is essentially the representative of the deck. In other card games, I believe this would be referred to as a leader or hero card. They have Hollow Life, which represents how many of your Hollow Mems can be defeated before you lose, as well as an Oshi skill and ES Oshi skill, which can be used once per game. Your Oshi skills may require a cost of Hollow Power, which I'll explain later. Then, there's the Hollow Mem card which acts very similar to a Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG. They have effects, HP, attacks, referred to as arts, which take energy, referred to as cheer, and then they even evolve through the bloom mechanic, which allows them to become stronger and to trigger their higher stages bloom effect when played. The cheer card is the same as an energy card in Pokemon, except that they go to their own deck and you deal the top cheer card onto one of your hollow mems each turn instead of adding them to your hand. Finally, there are support cards, which are a lot like trainers and supporters in Pokemon. They can become equipment to boost your hollow mems or various other effects. You can only use one support card labeled as limited per turn. You also can't use your limited support cards on the first turn. Your play board looks like this. One is your Oshi card. Two is your center position for one of your Hollow Mem. Three is your collaboration position for your Hollow Mem. And four is the back position. You can move Hollow Mems from the back position to the collab position to generate Hollow Power, placing the top card of your deck, five, face down in the Hollow Power Zone, seven. Along with the style, the Oshi card and the Hollow Power mechanic. Something that sets the Hollow Life card game apart from the Pokemon card game is that you aren't limited to just one attack each turn. Both your Center Hollow Mem and your Collab Hollow Mem can use their arts on each of your turns. Six is the Archive, which is called a discard pile or a graveyard in other games. It's where all of your used up cards go when they should no longer be in play. 8 is where the cheer deck goes, and finally, 9 is where you put your life cards equal to your Oshi's Hollow Life at the beginning of the game. There are a few other rules, such as statuses, resting, and so on, but I think that this should give you a pretty good indication of how the game goes and whether or not you'd be interested in giving it a try. If you want to know more, check out the links in the description to the official sources. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.